Ready? Here we go. Set. Woo! How are you guys? Good. Good. Yeah. Today, a small group of people are going to attempt moving a trampoline six miles through the middle of a city by only using their own manpower to carry the trampoline. Turn. Well, nine months ago, we moved out of this house and we left this behind. So, today, we reclaim the trampoline. I just think it's going to be heavy for folks. And it's just going to cause some strain. I just, I'm not tall enough to lift it up anymore. People invented wheels for a reason, and this would be a damn good application for some wheels. So far, we made really good progress. We've gone about 400 feet. Right now, we only have about eight people. It's going to be pretty heavy. Hopefully, some more folks will show up. Well, we picked up a few uh, strangers along the way. Caroline, the 60-year-old uh, woman. Well, I was marching all over Chicago in the 60s, backpacked over some pretty high mountains, and I've had a lot of other adventures in my life, and this just seemed like a good one to add. You guys gonna help out? Ah, uh, yeah, I guess. Hey, this is why we live in Austin, this kind of yeah. stuff. Oh, I'm good. I feel like I have to see right, this take right, guys. Take it right. Yeah. We're coming, right. we're coming, our brave little bear. Away, away. away. You know, at first we were carrying it with so few people, and also we were carrying it from the top. People are saying it's more, it's easier to carry it from the bottom if you're actually lifting. Okay, lift it up. But I mean, that would be like a couple people on each corner. Okay. Let's put just four groups on the corner. It's easier. A guy suggested that we carry it from the bottom, from the legs. You want to try that? Yeah, let's try it. Four on each. I mean, two on each corner. And that was key because carrying it from the bottom makes it a lot lighter. I feel like this is getting easier every block we walk. We noticed how the trampoline was all filthy, so we were walking by a car wash and someone was like, let's wash the trampoline. Sexiest part of the whole trip so far. There was people coming and going all day. We had this guy with a bike trailer the whole time, so people who were riding bikes could just put their bike on the trailer and help out carrying. I'm trying to explain moving a trampoline across the city has been really funny. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's definitely those people that get it and those people that don't. Yeah. Some people are like, oh, it'll come apart. We've been attracting a lot of attention along the route. We had people coming out of the streets like, what are you guys doing? Watching us, joining us. People aren't used to seeing 30 people carrying a trampoline down the street. That's a first! <laughs> and it's great going through these like neighborhoods that you know so well. People you used to like, pass all the time, coming and going, but never really talk to. And they come out just to see what's going on. They stare at us and then they decide to try it out. They bring their kids out and jump on it. So all the people were carrying it, weren't they? Yeah. We like to stop where there's kids so they'll jump on it. That's one of the goals that we had, was try and get as many people as possible to try jumping on their trampoline. I'm surprised. Totally surprised. I was thinking this was going to take a lot longer. It would be more painful. So how old is it? Who knows? <laughs> The biggest challenge of the day is definitely trying to cross the freeway. We're really worried about I-35 because there's just a lot of traffic. We're going to have to run as fast as we can while carrying the trampoline. Well, we're in a very public spot. We're about to go to the highway. We're worried about legal issues. So we have no choice but to just go really fast and hope for the best. That ended up being one of the coolest parts of the journey. It was really fun to jump on a trampoline underneath a moving freeway. Miner keeps asking, why don't they just take it apart? <laughs> why did they do that? Because they're crazy. So 
was looking for you guys and I asked the lady, I was like, excuse me, ma'am. I was like, do you guys happen to see a moving trampoline? And she's like, oh, yes, it went that way. And so I found you guys. More and more people started joining for either a little while or a long while. People said, oh, I'll help you for a few blocks. And then they ended up carrying it for a long time. At no other point in the day would we have been able to take it over the fence. At that moment, we had like the people power to just move that powerfully. Go pump! Go good. I mean, do I look good? Let, let it be known that Watcho here only joined us about three blocks ago. Boom. So. I didn't walk very much. Some people had planned certain places where we were going to stop and jump, but you know, when we were going, it just kind of took on its own form. At one point we had kids on bikes just falling on the trampoline. We, we just put it down and let them jump on it. That's good. I like that. That's, oh. yeah, that's good exercise. Y'all need to go to exercise too. Hey! <laughs> Freaking exhausted. Too much trampoline. <laughs> yeah. Just a worthless uh, blob. Pretty much from here all the way up there through here and to there. Wow, your hair hurts? My hair hurts. I mean, look at it. You sore? Maybe a little. Yeah, yeah. I'll feel it tomorrow. I'm not on adrenaline right now. I wish I had stretched beforehand. My sides and my back, but that's okay. We have one more stop at the soccer field and then we'll have made it. I haven't looked in the mirror for days. I don't care if my hair is I think in these efficient times, I kind of like the inefficiency of it. We have all these people and bikes and dogs and friends and kids gathering around this like completely clunky and inefficient mission. It's been a real journey. Just the fact that like the people we know will get together and carry this thing across town six miles. That's what I love about this place. Está muy bien. <laughs>